Gate. Midfielder. Haraguchi setting it up extremely well. And it's 1 0 Bravo Reds. And that's unbelievable. Haraguchi unmarked, picks it up from the right. And, well, I would say that's really slippery hands. Suzuki on the hunt for his man and decides. He's going to get that across and what a goal. That is a lovely strike from Tomoya Ugajin. Kept his calm right before the goal. Slots it in very gently. It's 1-0 around the Reds. And the side level fans will have been waiting for this for some time. Breaking the deadlock here. Tomoya Ugajin. It was a dream start for Trinita, but disaster for Urawa Reds? Not quite just yet, as the visitors put Awita Trinita 2, Urawa Reds 1, with only eight minutes played. The enthralling contest still had one more goal to offer in the first half. Captain Yuki Abe's Poor home record against the Reds, winning only two of their last 11 matches, scoring after just six minutes, and that separated the sides going into the break. The Reds continued to dominate matters and finally got a second goal in added time. They get the goal, they've been craving. situation it's gone in right to the very end that's a real credit for the pressure being put on there he still have a lot of work to do almost didn't make it then with the Reds winning all of them Urawa Reds dominated proceedings and duly got the opening goal after the hour mark that was also the goal that separated the teams at half time any hopes of a Belmare comeback effectively ended in the 73rd minute. As Yosuke Kashiwagi made it 2-0. Straight from the corner. Goals from... Marcia Ricardes taking the through as soon as she can. Finds Shinzo Kuroki and the ref is Haraguchi who's brought down and not Kuroki. And it's straight into the back. The Reds weren't giving up. And in the 71st minute, they were back on level terms. A wonderful solo effort from substitute Genki Harris. And on 82 minutes, that to the Saitama outfit. Oh, they've got an equaliser right away. At Another good ball. Goal could come at either end at the moment. Umasaki. Again, go for the cold effort. Is that onside? They're all convinced that's well offside. And of all people... There's someone certainly offside there. Ball hadn't been played. Oh, that is offside, I think. I think Kuroki was offside. Haraguchi. That's also a very good save. But that's a brilliant finish. Haraguchi with the initial shot. It was actually a really good save. And there was a lot of work to do still. And what a cool finish. The Reds began with purpose. And got a penalty for... <laughs> Captain Yuki Abe then fell. Urawa Reds continued their attacking approach in the second half. 
And within minutes of the restart, they score. But the Reds restored their two-goal cushion soon after. Shinzo. That's also his second goal in as many J1 matches. The Reds began to step up a gear. And on 18-4-2 in favour of the Reds. The home side were looking for more. And a minute before the end, a great team goal by the Saitama outfit. The home side weren't finished just yet. And four minutes into added time, they... It's a good ball, just needs to finish, and that's the... Exactly what they wanted. The look is done well. Umasake, good ball in. What a goal. Katsuwagi, he's found the way through. That's. Oh, no, first of all, a good chance to make it. 4 1, 4 0 rather, and it's an easy. Taking a big deflection. Another goal! It stayed that way until the 83rd minute. Umasaki. Good run through a shot and finally a comeback. So, and it's a fantastic shot. And what a comeback. The player is able to move back to the box in the nick of time. And the breakdown here, the shot comes through. It's the equaliser. Ball swings in towards the box, headed towards goal. Great save, and it's finally in. It's 2 1. The Reds weren't giving up. And in the closing stages, they equalised through Marcio Ricardes. The Saitama outfit continued to press. And in the third minute of added time, they scored. Ryota Moriwaki with the wonder. The replay showed his shot came off a Jubilo player. Ishihara there, who had a hat trick. The last match. The header sails into goal. That's just after the four minute mark. Now Reds have a chance to make it two, and they have. And uh, somehow I think Haraguchi he had uh, profited by being at the right place at the right time. Going again for the Reds, and it's an own goal from a Jeep. And it is Kuroki all right. Well, tried the dummy. Oh, that's a great goal! The Cardes! What a start to the second half! It's taken almost a, a winger like approach to this. Yuki Abe picks his spot. The goalkeeper went. The second best in the league. Only Kawasaki have got a goal, but now. Niki Je, the Korean. Nice turn and shot. Kashiwagi. That's poor defending, really, from Shimizu. Great ball through. Should be an easy finish. He'll roll in. With a pretty easy finish. The Saitama outfit were enjoying their best spell in the match. And after the hour mark, they scored. 
Shinzo Kuroda. And breathes new life. FC Tokyo 2, Urawa Reds 1. The goal gave the visitors fresh impetus. And soon they leveled matters. Yet a minute. The Reds kept up the pressure when play resumed and got a penalty. Captain Yuki Abe stepped up and put the continued to dominate. And soon got the opening goal. 15 minutes. Belmare were looking good for the three points. The Reds, however, weren't giving up. And they got a goal right on Nyssen. And a strong run forward. He goes under the box very easily. The referee well has taken... Oh, well, it's a red card. Yuki with the penalty. And he puts it in. Ball forward here. And two players up front. Surely now a goal. Indeed it is a goal. Urawa Reds have... And it's Genki Haraguchi. There goes Koroki now on the other side of the field. Looking to make it three. Surely he must make it three. Urawa Reds running riot here at the Saitama Stadium. Looking for goal number four. And finding goal number... Swung inside. And it's in. Daisuke Nasu just got ahead of his defender. And here they come now, bombing forward. He's got some space, takes a shot, and it's in! Here he is. Great run. Just made himself the space by cutting inside. Decent pass out wide. Urawa Reds with a chance to grab the opening goal. The goalkeeper's made the save, but he couldn't prevent the follow up. Urawa Reds have. And it's Yosuke Kashiwagi who runs off to celebrate with the home fans. Here goes Tomoaki Makino. Driving inside and then outside. Plays it in. Surely a goal. Indeed a goal. It's Kashiwagi once again. He's running riot here at the Saitama Stadium. Yosuke Kashiwagi has made it 2-0 for Urawa Reds. In. Here's the open chance. Well taken, well shot, X equal. Players have scored 16 goals between them up in the penalty box. One of them is Makino. It's gone through and it's gone in. His entrance into the team means that he's going to play a more defensive role. It's well cut. Oh, that's brilliant. It's poor defending, you have to say, but Kuroki rolled his marker with such a splendor.